struggling to hold on to your money? Today I'm going to teach you steps to get money in Persona 5 Royal so that your waifu will actually love you. Let's get into it. Method number one to getting a lot of money is to just grind the metaverse. I know this sounds like BS, but trust me, there's so much money to be made in dungeons. Make sure you beat up shadows, open chests and sell the loot, beat up treasure demons, we sell any dirty money. clothes you get at the store in Kijitoji, and make sure you equip the C's armband if you have it to increase money by 15%. This all adds up pretty quickly and you can make some mean cash. Now I know everyone hates grinding, but check this out. If you rank up Ryuji to rank 7, you can get this perk called Instant Kill. Since he's your first confidant, you can get him to rank 7 pretty quickly. If you dash into enemies that are weak enough, you'll automatically win the fight. On top of that, you'll get the EXP and money, and even the persona. You can tell which enemies can be instant killed by using your thief vision. The green enemies can be instant killed. For some reason, the game considers doing this as an all-out attack, so any perks that would give you double money for winning a fight turn 1 will activate. A bit game-breaking, but it gets the job done. The last thing you can do to increase your money is to get as many stamps as you can. Once you get these stamps, you can take them to Jose to increase the money you gain from all fights while you're in mementos. Some floors have guaranteed stamps, but once you get all those, you'll need to move back and forth between floors to find the rest because it's random whether they spawn or not. Grinding is boring and no one likes doing it, so get Ryuji to rank 7 and do everything I just told you. LET'S GET THIS MONEY! LET'S GET IT! The next step is to make sure you rank up the right confidants to maximize your earning potential. There should be five you're focusing on. Ryuji because of instant kill, Yoshida, Hifumi, Futaba, and Chihaya. Yoshida opens up on May 6th, the day before Mementos opens up and the day you're allowed to explore at night. To start it, you need to talk to him, then get a job. If anybody tells you to get a job to earn money in this game, stop listening to them. If it's a video, turn that video off now! Get a job at the beef bowl shop and work there for a couple days so that he notices you. Then you gotta speak to him again and you'll start it. He ranks up every time you hang out, so don't worry about it since you only need him at rank 3. Once you reach rank 3, you should have fundraising, which lets you ask for a lot of money during negotiations, along with diplomacy, which lets you ask for more until the enemy gets sick of it. This is good early in the game when you either don't have instant kill or can't use it consistently. The next one you want to start is Shihaya's Confidant, which opens up on June 22nd. Head to the red light district and speak to her, then purchase her holy stone for 100,000 yen. After that, visit her again to get a memento requests that must be completed before the confidant can begin. This is the confidant you want to max the most regardless of what you're doing, but for the sake of money you'll want to get her to rank 3. This gives you her money reading, which increases the money earned through battle for the whole day, and since Ryuji's instant kill counts as an all out attack, we're in business. Next up, you want to start your confidant with Ifumi Togo, which starts on June 26th, 4 days after Chihaya. Beforehand, you'll want to make sure you get Yusuke to rank 2 so that you become aware of her existence. You'll also need a rank 3 charm to start this confidant. Yes, I'd love to plug you a social stat guide video of mine, but I don't have one because I'm dumb. Make sure you get your charm up by going to the bathhouse, especially on Mondays, Thursdays, and rainy days. There's also some books you can grab from the library and bookstore, along with some video games you can get in Young and Jaya. Once you prove to her that you have more charm than Andrew Tate, you can finally start the confidant. You'll want to get her to rank 7 to unlock the Narakan perk, which gives you double money in one turn after a successful ambush. Again, insta-kill counts as an all-out attack, so profit. The last confidant you're going to want is Futaba's. The reason I have her last is because her confidant doesn't open up until August 31st. She has two perks that we're going to want to get. Memento Scan, which is obtained at rank 2, and Position Hack at rank 4. Memento Scan will reveal everything on a Memento's floor, including treasure and stamps. This saves us a ton of time since we can leave the floor to the one above or below it if the floor doesn't have what we need. That way you don't have to waste time constantly exploring only to find nothing. Position Hack is really nifty for enemies that you can't instant kill, as this has a chance of auto automatically triggering a holdup. If you get Yoshida to rank 3, you'll be able to ask enemies for a ton of money with no effort. There's also a treasure reboot at rank 7, but I don't remember if that works in Mementos or not. And that concludes this video. If this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe. If you're an anime fan or gamer or whatever, please join my Discord server. I'm trying to build up a community here of passionate fans who love games, talk games, talk anime, whatever. I want to see you in the Discord. Make sure you click that link in my description. Please, thank you. See you guys later.